All right, here we are another day. Um, gonna be running out, having a little bit of fun in the uh, in the Technum here. It's a Technum P92. Um, it's a rental, so it gets pretty beat up. You gotta really do a really good pre-check just to make sure you, you can get up in the air and you can get back down. So, um, you know, there's just a lot of students end up using this plane and, and, uh, and abusing it, I'd have to say. But um, uh, it's fun, you know, just to get up and, and have fun a little. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty agile little plane. And, and um, so I'm just gonna go up and do some laps, check out the uh, lake and, um, you know, a few different lakes around here and do some maneuvers and, and get back. And then uh, behind me here is the uh, Sea Ray. So uh, I wish I was taking this up, to be honest. I mean, the Sea Ray is freaking awesome. Uh, I love it. In, in fact, I'm thinking about buying one. Um, I've been I've been flying a lot of different planes just to see what I like but honestly so far my two favorites have been the Super Patrol and the Sea Ray so uh, both of them are amazing planes but you can't get the Sea Ray for about half the price as a Super Patrol U so that that has a lot to do with uh, with you know what I may end up doing here so uh, but for now I'm just building my skills getting some hours in uh, doing some maneuvers, and that's what I'll be doing today. So let's have some fun. Popka traffic light sport 615 Tango off for the parking runway 15. Here we go. Take the parking brake off. Check one more time. We got our flap set. I make our way on here. Look away. Look for traffic one more time. I don't see any traffic. We should be good to go. All right, getting set up here. <clears throat> like they did uh, remade this uh, runway here, so get going here. All right, here we go. This plane, I'm gonna wait to about 500 feet before putting the flaps up. All right, we got 500 feet. Flaps up. Hello, we are, um... My goodness, controls are so nimble uh, in comparison to what I've been flying. Pocket traffic 615, Tango Alpha, right cross, then runway 15, gonna be heading out to the lake, doing some maneuvers. Alright, just letting everybody know I'm going out here and gonna mess around for a bit. Uh, I wanna make sure I don't run into any traffic or anything. Uh, I don't see anyone out there. So, off we go. So again, today I'm just trying to get back up in the air. I don't like to go too long without flying. Um, extended base one four Tampa North. Once I get too long without flying, I start feeling a little bit too nervous when I fly. I don't like that. I want to be calm and relaxed. Nice if we had a shade here. But I want to feel calm. I want to feel relaxed. I want to be enjoying it. Uh, more than I want to be like panicked, you know. I want to. I always be want to. Uh, I want to be in front of the plane. And you know, traffic is about level three five eight. Southwind runway five seven. I mentioned before too. A big thing is just wanting to also stay ahead of the plane. So if there is an emergency, I know exactly what I'm going to do at all times. Uh, where I'm going to go. Uh, there's a there's a little airfield right over there I can run to uh, if the plane uh, has a problem. May not make it there, but. Um, there's plenty of landing spots here, wet ones, but uh, it should be able to get down. So this thing really turns quickly. I mean, it it turns on a dime. So it can be a. It's actually after after flying the Bush Cat, this thing is. Uh, <laughs> I mean, huge difference in nimbleness. Now here's a big rain cloud coming in, so I'm a little concerned about that. I don't know how long I'm going to be up here today. You look over here, you can see some rain coming in. Uh, it's hitting the ground pretty hard. So, I don't like that. It's not good. So, 
I don't know if it's coming this way or not. Kind of looking at the clouds and where they're headed. So I need to keep an eye on that. I just want to do some maneuvers anyways. Um, you know, enjoy myself. I'm going over the lake right now. You can see this. Tampa North, Cessna 211, right crosswind 14, Tampa North. So it's good to get up uh, if you haven't been up for a while, just to do some basic steep turns and maneuvers to make sure you're on your game. Um, you know, the, the basic concept is when you do these turns, you don't want to be losing any altitude or gaining altitude. You want to stay right where you're at. So you want to keep a straight line even when you're turning. Um, And actually, I'm getting a little altitude here, so nose down just a little bit. But, you know, just keeping that horizon right there should keep you pretty level. Um, as you can see, this lake right here uh, isn't being used much because it's polluted. So there's a bunch of farms over here. And the farms, for many, many years, uh, were pushing chemicals into this lake. And it polluted it and just pretty much destroyed the lake. So hasn't been used for a long time because of that. You know, some other emergency procedures, uh, stuff that I like to practice, if we had an engine out or a fire in the engine, you know, um, you're gonna get, you know, come up here, you're gonna cut power, and you're just gonna hit it and to do some rolls really fast. So I would cut power, right? And boom, here we go, right? We're going down. So it's a controlled descent here to make sure that we can get down quickly Right, and get that fire out, but not too fast. We ended up breaking the integrity of the plane, right? All right, so we'll pull up a little bit here. Oh, use caution, Sebastian. Okay, so climbing again. But out a quick way, I dropped about uh, 500 feet there in a couple seconds. So uh, that's a controlled descent there. All right, so taking a look at that storm again, see if it's getting close. If it gets close, I'm, I'm putting this on the, on the runway, I'm done. So this is where you gotta use a little bit of intelligence when you're, uh, when you're a pilot. Um, when you see the front coming in like this, you gotta stay ahead of it, and I think I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get back. Unfortunately, I just got up in the air, and uh, I already got to go back. So well, that was fun. Copy traffic, uh, light sport six one five tango off. I'm gonna be uh, entering a right downwind for runway one five, uh, about a mile out right now. Copy traffic six one five tango off. The final runway one five. Okay, so I want to put a little bit more flaps in. Okay, so. Ah, uh, look at there, what are we doing with our fasties? We look all right, a little bit low, uh, but I'll just keep the power in. That way we can, uh, All right, got one green, one red, we're good. Our idle. There we go. It's called greasing the landing right there. All right, so I'm playing it cautious. I came back soon. Uh, last time I flew, I got caught in a storm. And I just don't want to get caught again. So I got up at the land. Uh, feel pretty good about that, but just don't feel good about uh, the storms coming in. So I think I'm gonna all the day real quick here all right here i am uh headed home so i was only up in near 30 minutes um uh, a front came in 
and uh, I didn't, <laughs> didn't want to get caught. So I, it's better to be 15 minutes early than 15 minutes late. So uh, I will say though, after flying the bush cat the last two months, getting back up into Technum felt like night and day. Um, uh, and it, it's, no, it's not a knock on, on bush cat or anything. I mean, it, it's got its own flying characteristics, but my goodness, I mean, the, the Technum uh, flying characteristics, it's so much, so much more docile. Uh, easy to land um, the stick is very light I mean you control it with your fingertips um, I know the bush cat you're you're kind of strong arming that that stick it's you need a little bit of weight into it um, it also gets jerked at, jerked around quite a bit so you're constantly uh, using rudder um, to keep it aligned and gosh I, I mean I was using rudder uh, with the Technum, but very little, I mean, tiny inputs. Um, and it was just staying on course. It was just, it just wants to fly straight. Um, it wants to land, it wants to fly straight, it wants to take off. Um, very easy flying uh, plane. Now it's ugly. Uh, it's, a, it's not a nice, it's not the best looking plane in the world, but it, it flies great. And I think as I look to, to buy my own plane, um, I'm gonna pay a lot more attention to how easy it is to control it. Um, you know, like I said, the, the bush cat, so much more difficult uh, to control. I would definitely say you need to be an intermediate pilot um, to even consider a bush cat. Uh, Technum, I think, if someone wanted to buy one of those, you, you could be, you know, 20 hours in, I'd, you'd be totally fine. Um, but anyway, uh, that's that. Got up in the air, had some fun. I uh, was really surprised to uh, to realize, again, how easy it is to fly the Technum, um, especially after flying the Bushcat the last uh, couple months. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.